Hello and welcome to Animal Watch and today it's my 100,000 subscriber video and all of my pets in one film. Wow. Oh, got cute. <laughs> ah, Kyoshi, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, dog medley. I love it. Oh, what's that on my face? <laughs> that's too mud. I hope that's mud. Some people think I'm a bit mad, but I, I don't really care. I've got a bit of a reputation in my village for being a bit of a crazy wolf lady. Well, hello everybody. It's really, really exciting today because look what I've got. Yes, I have got my award from YouTube for 100,000 subscribers for Animal Watch and it's all because of you. So thank you so much to everyone who has been supporting my channel for the last couple of years. I've got Kyoshi, my Tamascan, with me today and I've got Mr. Val, who you hardly ever see. Now, let me get him up because he's an old boy, he's 12. He's an Alaskan Malamute here. We'll say hi, Mr. Val. He's lovely, he doesn't like dogs. Sometimes he can be a bit bitey, so um, I have to watch where I take him. But these two dogs are joining with me today and you to open my award. And yes, I'm over 120,000 subscribers now, but it takes a long time for these things to come through the post. And I promised that I would not open this unless you guys were with me. So here it is, and we're gonna open this together today and take a look at what YouTube has sent me. It's really exciting. Okay, so here it is. I've not opened it. It's completely sealed. Kyoshi, what do you think of that? Mm. Should we open it together? Should we have a look at what they've sent me? It's really exciting. It's the first time I've ever had an award from YouTube. So um, yeah, don't know what it looks like. I know it's a silver play button, but I haven't seen one before at all. So you have to bear with me as I try, try and get in this box. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, it's being opened. Kishi, what do you think? What, should we have a look at what we've got here from YouTube? Shall we? She's like, it's not food, so I don't care. <gasps> it's a little certificate. <gasps> look! Look! Look, look! You've just done something that very few YouTube creators accomplish. You had an astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. We know that numbers on YouTube can get really big, but we hope that you don't lose sight of the reality behind that six digit milestone. Wow. So, Kyoshi, what do you think of this? What do you think? <gasps> Thank you very much, YouTube, for this wonderful award. And uh, here's to 200,000 closing in quickly and then hopefully a million at some point and then on and upwards. So um, part of this video today also is to meet all of my animals in one film. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you around and meet all of my animals in my house one at a time. We've got Kyoshi here, we've got Mr. Val. We've also got Blue, my Czechoslovakian wolf dog. We have got Kumi that you meet in most of the videos, my other Czechoslovakian wolf dog. And we've got Zora, my rescue. I have also got some koi carp fish. So I'm going to take you round and you can meet all of my dogs. Well, hello everyone. As I'm always talking about my dogs, I thought it would be fun for you to meet some other pets that I've got. I have got some beautiful koi carp and they are really, really rather docile and you can, you can feed them and sometimes you can touch them. I mean, you're not supposed to touch them. You can give them a little stroke so you can come and meet my beautiful koi carp. I'm a little bit of a tropical gardener, so as you can see, I've spent many, many years collecting all these incredible hardy tropicals from places like Cornwall and Tresco, which is the tropical islands off the, off the tip of Cornwall. And um, I've brought them up here. It takes some looking after, but I make sure but I only put the ones in the ground that survived the winter. So do you want to come and meet my fishy? Come and meet my fish. So 
some of the dogs that you've met on my channel have been my Czechoslovakian wolf dogs. And of course we've had Kumi who seems to make an appearance in most of my videos by jumping up on my log at the back of the garden. But we've got Mr. Blue as well and he doesn't play such a big role in my videos simply because he's a bit shy and he doesn't really like jumping up on the log. So let's go and say hi to Kumi and Blue. Hey. Hey Kumi princess. How are you? How are you? You can say hi to everyone. Paul, you gonna come and say hi to everyone? Oh yes, Kumi is so beautiful. Kumi came from Italy, and um, I think the Italian Czechs are are really beautiful. Some people might disagree with me, but I think they're very very lovely. They've got some beautiful yellow-eyed ones out there, and um, I'll come and show you how brilliant Kumi is at getting up on the log. Come on, Kumi, let's go. So look, here we go. Kumi up. Simple. She's a very well-trained Czech wolf dog. Kumi. Good girl, stand. As you can see, very, very easy <laughs> to work with her. She's beautiful. She'd do very well in films and TV and modeling because she is so very well-trained. So this is Mr. Blue and he's my male Czechoslovakian wolf dog and he's a little bit shyer than Kumi so you won't see him appearing so much in my YouTube videos simply because he's just like a bit of a pudding and he always walks off if I get the camera out. But as you can see he's really loving and really really affectionate whereas Kumi looks quite sort of intense and quite aloof. The thing that's quite amazing about Czechoslovakian wolf dogs is how they can differ so much because He's exactly the same as she is. He comes from a slightly different line. She comes from an Italian line. He comes from a sort of a French Belgian line, but huge commitment. And this is what I'm saying. Please don't get one of these dogs unless you're at home all day and you have got the time and the energy to put into them because the amount of socialization and work that you're going to need with these dogs, you cannot do it if you go to work every day. They will tear up your house because they will miss you so much. They are full on working dog breed and they need somebody that say for instance, got great experience with, with a breed like Alaskan Malamutes, Huskies or German Shepherds. Okay, so one of the dogs, which doesn't appear a lot in my videos, just because he's an old boy, is my Alaskan Malamute Valdez. He's 12 years old and he likes a nice, simple, quiet life. Buddies, you gonna come and say hi to everyone? Come on, come and say hi. Oh, he's very sort of laid back compared to the other dogs. See, as you can see, Kyoshi just wants all the attention here. She, she's like, pet me, love me. This is Kyoshi, my Tamaskan, and she is my absolute baby. I adore her. She is like the sweetest dog. Kyoshi is 10. Tamaskan is a mix of German Shepherd and Husky and Malamute and Samoyed and a little bit of Czech wolf dog in there. And um, she's absolutely adorable. She, every single dog that meets her, loves her. <laughs> she's lovely to every single person she meets and everybody I know absolutely adores Kyoshi. I, I don't know what I would do without her. Zora rolling in something. Now Zora is my Romanian rescue who I brought back from Romania about six or seven years ago and she's a real sweetie and a lot of people think that she might be Kyoshi's daughter but that's just random that she happens to look like her. As you can see, she's a real sausage. She's real cute. She's saying, come on, mummy, play with me, aren't you, sweetie? Yes. So she came from Romania. I had her when she was about six months old. She was a feral dog, born in the wilds, picked up by a vagrant who tried to exchange her for alcohol in order to, with, with a woman that was basically a, a dog hoarder. But somebody stopped her just before she was taken in and they managed to save her, get her into a foster and then I brought her over on the van and, and I adopted her. And she's my absolute baby. There's Mr. Val walking past in the background, like a rather aloof cat as he is. Whereas these guys are just like, kiss us, kiss us mummy. Yeah, because we love you so much. Yes, we do. We love you so much. We love you. You gonna stay? <laughs> Ow! Not scratch me in the face. Hey Zora, where are you going? Where are you going? There you are. 
Oh, what cute. <laughs> ah, Kyoshi. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, dog medley. I love it. Oh, what's that on my face? Yes, <laughs> to mud. I hope that's mud. It's called the dog. So I hope you enjoyed meeting all of the pets that I have in my house at the moment. Yes, there's a lot of dogs. It's not just a fact that it's a lot of dogs, but it's a lot of big dogs. And uh, some people think I'm a bit mad, but I, I don't really care. I've got a bit of a reputation in my village for being a bit of a crazy wolf lady. But you know what? That's a pretty good title. I don't really mind. Bring it on. Now, I get a lot of questions from you guys. So part of this video I'm going to actually ask you to do is to send me every single question that you would like me to answer. Now, underneath this video when it's published, I want you to write your questions in the forum below and I promise you I'm going to really, really try to answer every single question that you ask. Obviously, if you're asking me something that's incredibly personal or might be slightly ruse, I may not answer you, but the vast majority of the questions, if they're sensible, nice questions, I will answer to the best of my ability. And um, you can also tell me your names and everything. I might give you a shout out in some of my future videos. So get your questions in that forum below and I will start to answer them for you. I've got some questions here which are some of the most common questions I've been asked from my previous videos. So I'm just going to run through the answers quickly with you. I get asked this a lot. What's the scariest encounter you've ever had? Well, I, I have actually had a pretty scary encounter and it was with a high content wolf dog. Now they're normally really, really very, very good, but this wolf dog didn't particularly like me. And um, I went round a friend's house and of course the first thing he said is, oh, you're a girl, you'll be fine. He likes women. So I walked into the back garden and there was this wolf dog, he's about 80% wolf and 20% German Shepherd and he was behind a fence that had huge holes you know like a wire fence but each hole was massive and he took one look at me very very calmly walked to the back wall and then he charged at me and tried to ram the fence down to get to me and he stuck his head through one of the holes and went like that and was, his mouth was like this close to my face as he went to and the man just went oh that's very very strange he normally likes women so I was very very sweaty after that um, I did make friends with him eventually but that was the scariest encounter I've ever had I'm not scared of sharks I've dived with sharks I don't care about that and I'm, I'm generally not scared of any animal at all. I can have creepy crawlies on my hands. I can have spiders. I, I can I can do all of that. Animals don't scare me. Um, but that one encounter was 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 pretty scary. Another question I get quite a lot is, when did you first want to um, work with animals? Um, well, when I was really really young, I always loved animals. I absolutely was completely obsessed with them. I was so mad about animals. I used to go around and I used to help other people with their pets. I used to volunteer for the RSPCA, so I used to go from door to door doing collections. And you're gonna think I'm completely mad, but at the age of four, I went through a phase where I used to go around um, burying all the little mice and birds in the area that all the local cats had killed because I felt really sorry for them. So I used to go around with some friends and we used to say, go and find all the little mice and all the little birds. And then we'd make them little coffins and we'd pop them in the ground and everything. Another question which I get asked recently is where can I get the Animal Watch t-shirt, which is what I'm wearing now. They're quite new. I've just been wearing them for the last couple of videos. What do you think? Do you like it? I think they're really good. Um, I've not made them yet to actually sell but I'm thinking I will because enough people are actually starting to ask me if they can buy one. So right in the box below, I'll, you know, let me know, do you want me to, to start stocking these? And also whether there are other things you'd like me to stock like baseball caps and other things like that. So write that in the box below and I'll see what I can do about getting these available for you guys to buy and support the channel. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode of Animal Watch on 100,000 subscribers. What did you think of that, Kyoshi? Did you like it? Was it nice? Yeah, she says it was very nice. Thank you very much, Mummy. Look, she likes it very much. She's giving a little bit of a kiss. 
I'll have to give that a bit of a clean now before I stick it on the wall. So this is the first time you've ever actually seen all of my animals in one video and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed listening to the answers to some of my questions. As I said, please put some more questions in the box below and I'll be happy to answer them as much as I possibly can. I promise I really will. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and let's see how high we can build Animal Watch. I'd like to travel the world and um, as, the, as the channel grows, this is going to happen. I am traveling to Florida this November. So we've got some really exciting filming coming up abroad. And what I hope to do is gradually travel further and further afield. So we've got some trips planned for Scandinavia, some trips all over America, some trips down to Africa, and who knows where else. So make sure to tell all your friends, subscribe to Animal Watch, and join me every single week for some fantastic episodes on wolves, wolf dogs, dogs, animal rescue, and conservation. Bye for now. Mwah.